I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank. Come and tell me half of saltwateraquarium.com. You can't have a reef tank without lights, and 2020 was a big year for lighting in the saltwater aquarium industry, specifically reef tanks. Now, instead of focusing on a top list, top 10, top 20, which leaves so many considerations out, instead I'm going to look at trends in the industry and then how new lights that came out in 2020 either followed or bucked the trend. The biggest trend in reef tank lighting in 2020 is the emergence of LED panels versus LED pucks. Now, while Chinese black box manufacturers have been doing panel lights for years, I give little weight to manufacturers that focus on low quality and therefore low price. Instead, I look for manufacturers that are actively involved in the industry and they're visible at trade shows. Ecotech Marine continued to refine their very successful Radeon light with the introduction of the Radeon G5 in 2020. The G5 switched from a puck style LED configuration to a panel configuration. This switch meant more light spread more evenly over a greater area with little caustics or disco ball effect. Also noticeable with the Radeon is that it's only controllable through Ecotech's Mobius control platform. The reef link is gone as well as controlling your Radeon G5 through your Neptune Systems Apex. Philips, a leading lighting manufacturer in other industries, refined their Coral Care light in 2020 with a Generation 2 model. The Philips Coral Care also uses a panel design to produce a flatter, more even light similar to T5 bulbs. Now, safely mounting the 15 pound fixture continues to be a challenge, and I'd like to see Philips offer a fixed mounting solution over just a hanging kit. We'll see what 2021 brings for the Coral Care Generation 2 light. While no tech specs or photos have been released yet, Neptune Systems has acknowledged on their live streams that they're jumping into the lighting game with a light named The Sky. Given the name of the product, given the name of the product and what they've hinted about on their live streams, I expect it to follow the panel approach to lighting. We're gonna have to wait until 2021 to see what happens with The Sky. While the move to panel lights has begun, that doesn't mean that puck style LED lights for your reef tank are dead. Aqua Illuminations, one of the first in the reef tank LED lighting game, still makes puck style LED lights with the Hydra 32 and the 64, and both of these lights still grow coral really, really well. The AI Prime HD just missed the 2020 deadline as it was released in late 2019, and now there are four versions of that light, the reef, the sole, the freshwater, and the refugium light. Kessel is also firmly dug into the puck style camp with their dense matrix array of LED clusters. 2020 brought out the AP9X, which built upon the success of the AP700. Before I jump into the AP9X, it's worth noting that the AP700 is now on sale for $549. That means that it delivers the most par per dollar on the market. Kessel also wins in the shimmer game as the shimmer off a of Kessel can't be beat. Kessel is known for being the shimmer masters. The AP9X integrated built-in Wi-Fi, 0 to 10 volt control, and the K-Link support, as well as a sleek modern design. Light is produced by two dense array LED chips, cranking down 185 watts of power that mix the light with minimal caustics as the light is mixed at the source instead of relying on diffusers. The AP9X has several mounting solutions, which is also nice to see. What good is a light if it's a struggle to mount over your tank? Also announced in 2020, Kessel is working with Neptune Systems to bring native control of the Kessel lights to the Neptune Systems Apex platform. That's likely an early 2021 release, and it's still good to know that it's in the works. While Red Sea entered the lighting game with the Reef LED in late 2019, it's also notable that their light followed the puck design. 2020 brought the introduction of higher power Red Sea Reef LEDs with a 160 watt version. The Reef LED 160 stuck with a single puck design instead of adding multiple pucks to increase light output. Using the proprietary Reef Beat control platform that I found very easy to use, and the fact that the Reef Beat also controls their gyre pumps, I expect to see more from Red Sea in the future in terms of the control game. But that's a different topic for a different show. Another emerging trend in reef tank lighting in 2020 was the adding of LED bars next to an LED fixture and Reef Bright championed this with their XHO Blue Strips. Now, yes, the XHOs have been around for a while, but they really gained popularity in 2020. Now, the reason to add the XHOs next to your T5 fixture is to give some shimmer to the light, as well as better distribution of light. 
and it boosts the blues for those of you that like a really blue reef tank. Now I added some XHOs next to my Radeon G5 and it definitely delivered in the blue, shimmer, and even distribution of light categories. Now personally, I like to add the ReefRite Super Slim T5 fixtures next to my LEDs. The reason for this is if I'm adding light next to my LEDs, I wanna add a different type of light. Now I'm not saying the XHOs are bad, I'm just saying it's not my cup of tea. And different strokes for different folks. The final emerging trend in reef tank lighting in 2020 is to move away from PAR as a deciding light factor. For plenty of years, Ecotech, Aqua Illuminations, Kessel, even Current USA have made fixtures that crank out plenty of PAR and therefore plenty of light for most reef tanks. So the idea of having to hit an ideal PAR number is fading, which makes me happy. I've grown all types of coral in high and low PAR and I've grown them all successfully and focusing on an ideal PAR number, really any number that you have to hit to be successful, can lead to frustration and worry. In 2020, the trend is more towards spectrum over PAR, which is encouraging. So 2020 has been a big year for reef tank lighting, and there have been plenty of hints about what's going to come in 2021. For now, we have to sit back and wait and, well, light up your tank and enjoy your coral growth. I'm Mark Callen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.